At this year's SNMMI, we are introducing the Biograph Vision. Biograph Vision stands out due to its accuracy, performance and reproducibility capabilities. It uses 3.2 by 3.2 millimeter crystals and that allows for the better volumetric resolution and at the same time reduces partial volume effects. The 214 picoseconds uh, time of flight resolution or time of flight performance are really something that helps clinicians to reduce scan times or to reduce those at the same time. So really increasing the throughput that clinicians can scan with the Biograph Vision. Well, I'm particularly excited about the anatomical detail that you get with vision images. We're seeing a degree of anatomy that we haven't seen before. So, for example, with um, brain imaging, you get great delineation between the sulci and the gyri, between the gray and white matter. But for whole body imaging, we're seeing detail in the aortic wall, the ace in the aorta, delineation of the vertebral bodies, even papillary muscles within the heart chambers. This scanner is going to be very helpful for our patients because we can reduce the dose of um, activity that is injected to the patients and also it gets uh, faster, much faster to get the patient through the uh, scanner time. But the most important, it's, uh, it has a unique uh, time resolution capability of time of flight so we get very good images and uh, we get a very high resolution. I'm excited about the Biograph Vision because it, it, it gives us uh, completely new opportunities for both um, a, a clinical work and research work, which is, I'm involved in a lot. Uh, one of the things for the clinical side, which is very uh, new and special, is that this scanner makes quantitative imaging uh, push button. Uh, so um, before we just look qualitatively at the images, so we say it's more or less uptake, and now we can actually, uh, there's a, a method in here where we can actually quantify that very accurately. One thing I'm really excited about with the Biograph Vision is its uh, new detector, the Optiso UDR, Ultra Dynamic Range Detector that we have put inside that system. Because it allows to be extremely sensitive for low count studies, like with Yttrium 90, for example. And at the same time, be extremely accurate also for high count studies, like for rubidium for cardiac studies as well. So really covering the whole range of low counts and high counts with one detector. I'm very impressed with Siemens, how they've developed this product. I think it's a very courageous design. They really went for a detector for detecting the radioactive signal, um, which is very revolutionary. It, it, it measures a, a lot of the signal. Um, it can do it in a, a very fast way. And it can actually has the potential to really transform the way how we do PET imaging. The future of nuclear medicine is going to be quantitative and therefore being a major contributor to precision medicine and that will allow to offer the right treatment for the right patient at the right time.